Hello everybody, welcome to part 4 of the PyTrends tutorial series. So far what we've covered is analyzing the interest over time for a given keyword, the interest between different geographical regions, so it can be country, state, city, metro area. Um, but what we still need to cover is how to find related queries related to those keywords. So imagine that you have the keyword, you see that there's the trend is satisfying, the interest is satisfying. Now you want to see what people are searching for related to those keywords or that keyword. As part of the PyTrends library, there is this one line, pytrends.relatedQueries. This is what we're going to use to get the data from Google Trends and then we will see what we can do um, to get some nice um, queries. But also the structure of the data that we get back. So I'm going to continue on the same file that I've used in the previous tutorials, except I'm going to create, an, as you probably expect, a new function. That function would be related queries. I'm going to paste this one line here. So it's pytrans.related underscore queries. If you follow the previous tutorials, you already know that the first thing that we need to do is build payload or provide the necessary parameters that Google Trend needs to provide us back with the data. Now, in the past, what we've used is generally longer time frame. So either five uh, years, 12 months, and not that often the three months one. But if you want to find what people are searching for, it depends on the keyword, but you would probably want to use a shorter time frame because not always it, it's not always relevant what people search for in the last five years. A lot of things change over time, so you might get um, not that good results. So what I'm going to do is I will start with three months and then later on at the one month time frame as well. So we have the time frames list zero, one, two, the second, the third element. So number two is what we're going to use as time frame in this example. The related queries I'm going to run, but before that, let's store the data that we get into variable data and let's print data. Maybe what's good to do before that is I have still the function from the previous tutorial. I'm going to comment it out so it doesn't run. And the keywords that we're going to use is actually let's do two, delivery and food. So we have two keywords. Let's take a look at what the data looks like if we try to get the related queries. So, and keep in mind, I'm using the US geographical region in this case. So what you can see initially is that it's a, it's a dictionary. We have the first element being delivery. So we can access uh, the data first by specifying the keyword. And then what you have is top results. So the most searches related to delivery were delivery near me with 100 interest then delivery of food with 60, so 60% 60 of the interest compared to deliver near me, and pizza delivery, food near me delivery, and so on. Flower delivery is number five, so zero to four. So this is the top results, but if we keep scrolling, what you will see is we have rising. So these are the results that are actually rising compared to the parts, um, to the same period before, uh, this value that you have on the right side, so you have query, this is the query, and you have value. This is the percent, the percentage increase compared to the previous period, so 6,600% increase. And ideally, you would want to have a shorter list that you can um, maybe make some more decision based on that, because at the moment we have 25 results, and if you have 10 keywords or 5 keywords, it might be... Um, a bit too much time spent on analyzing the keyword. So what we're going to do is we are going to get the top, let's say top three results for the last three months and for the last month. If we scroll a bit below you, we will see that there is the second element food. So that's our second element in our list. And the same way we get the top and rising results for delivery we have for food. So top results, food near, food near me. So there seems to be some correlation between the two. Chinese food, fast food, dog food. So people are searching for dog food 
uh, as it's, it's actually 14% compared to food near, which is at 100. So that's the top. Then you have rising fast food open on Christmas, fast food open on Thanksgiving. So these are the rising queries compared to the previous period. Now, how do we get top three ones? And also, how do we include this one month period as well? What we're going to do is, and I encourage you to add comments because you might get lost later on in the, um, in the code. This is the last three months related queries. So now once you have this one line, you already know, okay, so this is the part of the code that provides me with the related queries of the keywords for the last three months. We're not going to print data. Instead, what we're going to do is for every keyword that we have in all keywords, we're going to first print keyword plus top queries. So keep in mind, we have top queries, the highest searched ones, and we have rising ones. And rising ones might be seasonal, like we saw Christmas or Thanksgiving, um, or it might be that we have a new product that is just rising, that didn't exist before. Then what we can do is data. So as part of our data, we want to access the keyword, and then we want to access top. And we would like to get dot hat three. So this is the top three results. So let's start with this and let's see if this works. If we get the top three results for delivery and for food, but this is how it looks like. I think it's, it's quite, quite good. You get the query. You can also see the interest compared to the, the top. So delivery near me has a hundred. So let's say if this was a hundred web searches then delivery food has 60. So this works. Now we also have the rising ones. We can do the same. So if I copy this part below, if we replace this with rising queries, it would, it would work. Now, so far, what is it that can go wrong? There is one thing in particular that I would like to mention and that is what if there are no rising queries? So sometimes you might be researching something that's too niche and there won't be any rising queries. And in that case, you, this code would crash because you, we're asking it to print the hat, but that might not exist. So what we're going to do is the following. If this data top is none, so if it doesn't exist, then let's print there isn't enough data. If there is data, then, well, we would like to get it on the screen. Same for the rising queries. If this data rising is none, we would like to print the same. Else, if that's not the case, we would like to get the data on our screen. And I think this is quite self-explanatory and at least I hope it is. But if it's unclear, let me know in the comments below. Now, this was for the last three months. What if we want to get this for the last month? Well, the structure can remain the same. The only thing that we need to do is, of course, change this part, which is get a different um, time frame. But maybe it's also good to print a statement before this that these are the last three months related queries. So let's do that last three months related queries and maybe it is good to have just a let's do it here an empty line so it separates the, the two keywords in this case it's two but it can be more than that so let's run this and see how it looks like so last three months related queries delivery top result top queries we get the results, delivery rising queries, food top queries, food rising. So you might even want to separate these two by an empty one. So we're going to do that. And um, as it here. And now for the one month, I'm going to copy this part. So everything that we've done so far, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste below. So this is the first one. This is where the second one starts. Instead of the last three months, 
I will have last month related queries. We're going to change this to time frames three. Everything else re remains the same except this print statement, which would be last month related queries. And if I run this as it is, what we get is something very similar to before. So first we start with the three months related queries for our keywords. And then if we scroll below, you will find the last month related queries. And of course, based on this, you might want to have some uh, SEO, maybe some search engine optimization um, and make some decision based on that. So once you have this part done, the next is just to change the keywords that are part of your list. And that's it. So thank you for following this video until the very end and until next time.